Hi there, welcome to Sunnyside Journals. I'm Catherine. I have a little work to do today, so I thought I'd turn on my camera. We haven't had a visit in a few days. So, hold on, let me get that out of my way. Um, so, I hope you can keep a secret. I've been working on a little golden book that's going to be for a new baby. And um, I'm just really, really thrilled with it. It's so pretty. It's got four signatures. I have paper clips around this one right now because it was still trying to be a gator mouth thing because I used um, I used scrapbook paper and like heavier heavy duty paper because I anticipate that the parents are going to want to be gluing a lot of, of memorabilia into this book, I hope. So I, except for the pages from the actual book, this is all heavier cardstock type uh, paper. So, um, and this one was just trying to be a gator mouth no matter what I tried to do with it. So it's got some great big paper, paper clips on it right now uh, to train it to behave. Um, so yeah, it's the I Can Fly, the little golden book classic, I Can Fly. And uh, this mom and dad, they're expecting uh, a little girl in the fall. But they're having, we're having a drive-by shower <laughs> um, in August. So uh, I thought, oh, maybe I'll make them, maybe I'll make a little, a little golden book journal for this little baby. And, uh, well, they could do whatever they like with it. But anyhow, so I got it all done. And you know what? It, I, I'm, some of you may say, oh, how did you do it? How did you do it? I follow the same way when I do a flat spine because sometimes I have been known to put in a curved spine and do a hidden hollow back. Um, but this time, because I want to put buttons on, down the spine and I also think I want to hang um, a dangly charm, um, I wanted to go with the traditional flat spine that we usually uh, is, is usually used in a little golden book. And honestly, it, there are tutorials all over YouTube. Um, Lori at uh, Grammy's Keepsakes, she does a great one. Very clear, very um, easy to follow her, her tutorials on how to uh, put one of these in. And um, uh, Gail Agostinelli, she does good ones. Now for me, the only thing that I would say is some, um, some people trim their um their little golden books where that fold is i don't know if you can see the shimmer in the fabric up where the fold is on the cover um which is where the original spine bent and some people prefer to cut that off i like to leave it i wanted a bigger page i'm anticipating that this mom and dad are going to have things to glue and they're going to want as big a surface area as possible for all the little goodies um, that's going to come along in the first few years of, of their little sweetheart who's arriving. So uh, I don't mind leaving that in. And it's quite well fortified because I use Tyvek on the inside and then it also has two layers of fabric. That fold is not going anywhere. The, this, this dent right here. If you've got little golden books, you'll know what I'm talking about, that dent there. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I do everything the same. Just you wrap the spine. Uh, because this is relatively new, it's in beautiful condition. And I love when this is still available for them to write in. So they're going to be able to write their baby's name in it and maybe the date of birth. And uh, it, I'm hoping that this is going to become a really pretty keepsake. Now, what I need to do today, something I do do differently and I thought maybe it's time to do a tutorial on it again, is I put my buttons on differently than um, other other uh, junk journalers do. And uh, so I thought I'm going to show you how I put my uh, buttons on the spine um, because I find that when the buttons are put onto the actual threads, here's the threads for the signatures, um, I find that it can actually loosen up your signature papers and make them kind of wobbly and then the buttons become wobbly 
So I prefer to sew in my signatures. Uh, these are not faux like I did on Fritzy um, last week. These are actually the signature threads. I use upholstery thread. And uh, so what I'm going to do is, <laughs> I'm gonna pause you for a second because I'm going to lift this camera up so I have a bit more room. So hold on. Okay, I hope that gives me a bit more room. So uh, what I do when I put the buttons on my spine, and you can do this any old way you want, because sometimes people want lots and lots of buttons on their spine. I don't. I like, I like one line of buttons, so I've picked out these ones to go with this pretty fabric. I'm not one. Maybe I've had so many children that maybe I got worn out of seeing pink and blue and pink and blue all the time. I love bright, bold colors for with babies. And so with a little artistic license, um, I like when there's some, a little bit of variety. They're gonna, this little miss is probably going to be dressed from head to toe in frills and pink and ribbons and lace. And this little book, I love it. And I love this book, especially because the main character is a very confident, very curious, uh, adventurous little girl. Um, so I, I chose this book specifically. I also chose it because here, let me move these. It has lots of animals in it. And, and this baby's mommy is a veterinary technician. And so she works with animals all day. She, this, the mom and dad love, 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 love animals. They're very much animal lovers. So the storyline, you know, it's got mice, a cow, kitty cats, a camel. There's just all kinds of, uh, look how cute, a clam. It's even got a clam. <laughs> I love the kitty cats. Look, there's an orange marmalade kitty cat. So, um, so I chose this book on purpose. I, I love this little girl. She's not lacking for confidence. And, uh, yeah. Anyhow, so, oh, owls. <laughs> there she is. So cute. So, um, I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in some buttons, uh, on this spine in this pattern that I, I just showed you. Now, I'm sorry if this is not all showing. I need to be able to work. Um, yeah, I'll see if I can work sideways so that you can watch. And then these are going to... So I eyeball it, first of all, because I'm a firm believer. I like when homemade things, that they're not so perfect that you wonder whether they're homemade or not. Um, I like when homemade things do look a little bit homemade. So I want a nice sharp um, needle that can handle uh, the thickness of the floss that I want to use because I want to use a pretty gold floss. I'm going to use this. But the hole in the needle needs to be able to handle the floss. All right, I'm going to try this one, and we will see. And so, um, I might as well just put a few, a few inches so that I don't have to. All right, now I'm going to pause for a second again while I thread this needle. There's no point watching me try and fail and then listening to me swear. So hold on. Okay, that wasn't too bad. In fact, there was no swearing. So um, I'm going to get my little, a little marker. Yeah, that'll work. Um, and I'm just going to put some polka dots where I want the threads to go in and out. So I'm just going to do this. You'll never see it. So I'm going to leave that there. 
and this one is going to go sorry you can't see where i am here i apologize but i'm honestly doing the exact same thing that i just did right there so just bear with me okay there we go and now i dropped the button all right hold on hold on while i find the button fortunately it's big okay there we go all right so what i do is my little cheater method but i just find you can put the buttons where you like you can use pretty floss and um there we go and it still uh, comes out really, really pretty. And it's just what I prefer. So I want um, a crisscross. So I go in the dot. I don't know if you can see the dots that I put in. It just needs to be approximate. There we go. I should show you the dots. Can you see the dots with, from the marker where I put them? Okay. So... Now, I'm going to leave this long. Bear with me. Am I still in? I am. So I in one dot, and then up and out the other dot. There we go. Come on. Thank you. So there we go. All right. So now what I do is I take my button and I poke these through the holes. don't do a lot of little golden books anymore. I'm just finding that, at least for this point in my life right now, my passion really, really is old books that are no good for anything else anymore and just turning those beautiful old um, covers into something wonderful and useful again. So I'm sure that Someday I will go back to loving doing little golden books. And I certainly enjoy them now, um, doing them once in a while. It's fun. So now here I'm just, so there's, these are just going to be so cute. I do right over left and under, left over right and under, and that gives you a nice strong knot. Trust me, that's not going anywhere. If you want to and you're good at it, you can tie some little bows. I'm going to trim these afterwards when I have all of my buttons done. So in the meantime, let's get working on this one. Um, I can use a little bit of that. So let me see again if I'm in. I am. Yay. Yay. I'm trying to decide if I want to put... Um, a charmy tassel on this. You know what? I might do one with a bulldog clip. And that way it can be removed if they want. Okay. So, um, oh, more floss. Where did it go? There we go. Yay. Oh, I was trying to figure out dinner tonight, and finally I figured out we're having fajitas that's easy it doesn't heat up the house don't you don't need the oven so we're going oh <laughs> i was gonna try and thread the all right let's see if i can do this actually you know what i'll just keep talking to you and i'm going to i'm sorry i have to hold it up close to my vision for my vision because i have bad eyes as i've complained many times in the past and I'm apologizing right now if I swear. But usually I'll just say rats. There we go. Yay! Well done, Catherine. Well done. So here we go. In one polka dot. Out the other. Come on. There we go. Just needs to be approximate. 
Don't sweat it. Um, here, I'll use that. There we go. I just need to be, give myself a little more room so I can hold on to it. Come on, right through. Thank you. All right. I'm just giving myself lots of room so that when I tie my knots, I'm not struggling too much. All right, so we'll do it again. We will um, we'll just weave these little threads through these buttonholes. Easy as pie. This was fun. I just made this up quite quickly yesterday. I actually had the camera turned on, but um, just after so many interruptions and and then the original fabric that I chose, it just wasn't working for me. And then I found this one and it matched too. So anyhow, it just wasn't meant to be. And then I, that's when I figured, you know what, what is... YouTube does not need another little golden book junk journal tutorial. It just doesn't. <laughs> There's so many excellent junk journal creators who make beautiful work out of little golden books. They don't need me. But, like I said, my button work is different. Not that theirs wrong. Theirs is wrong. Theirs is, everyone's is different. And vive la difference. So. Right over left and under, left over right and under, you know the routine. Any of you who did cubs and scouts and guides and all that stuff, got your knot badge. I was in a Kayla for a while. Um, so yeah, you gotta know your knots. All right, so I've got one orange button. It's the only orange button I've got. <laughs> and I want that in the center. So right about there. So, let's see. Sorry. Um, all right, here we go. So I'm holding it in the center. Again, this is just, just eyeball it. Don't sweat it. Just using one of these micron markers. And then you got your little polka dots there. And now take your needle in one side up the other side and just grabbing a bit of the fabric. Yes, this was glued down. You might be wondering, Catherine, how'd you do that? Did it glue? Yeah, it's glued down, but once you poke the needle through, you can slip it between the fabric and this board. The glue will, will lift a little and let you do it. So don't worry about that. You can do it. I'm not poking right through the board. I'm just going between the fabric and the, um, and the board that was used for the spine. All right, little orange button. I was hoping, I still, I don't have any yellow buttons to save my soul. Um, but these are sort of creamy colored. The top one is kind of creamy colored. And with the golden thread, the, the floss here, left over right and under, um, I think it still came out quite nice. Right over left and under. Pull tight. There we go. See how they're nice and snug? Like I can, they're not going anywhere. All right, so now where's, which one's the top? I guess it really doesn't matter. This, there, that's the top. Um, I think I want those a little cockeyed, just for a little change. Oh, that's going to look cute. All right. So, there you go. I had to take Dot, who's continuing to do well. Um, she needed a pot of cure today. <laughs> I, I trimmed her nails through the um big shutdown of the pandemic but i really don't enjoy trimming dark toenails on a dog so um i was happy when her little place opened back up see the polka dots from the the micron marker 
Um, so I was very happy. I'm very happy to support a local business. So again, I'm going in, but I'm only going into the fabric. I'm not going in. So I hit some glue there. Come on, don't make a liar out of me. There we go. So I'm just going into the fabric. Oh, <laughs> I pulled it out by accident. There we go. Come on. I have used an upholstery thread, uh, upholstery needle before too. You know those kind that are shaped like a like a circle, half circle? And I may get it out because this one is just, it's, the polka dots are so close together. Where's my upholstery needle? All right, I'm going to pause you. My upholstery needle must be over by my sewing machine. Hold on. Okay, I can't find my upholstery needle anywhere. So we're going to try this again. I'm going to try it from the other angle because maybe I've already made a nice little hole there and it'll behave itself. There we go. Okay, now I can see it. There we go. Okay. Where there's a will, there's a way. Now, can you see? Sorry. My hands get in the way. There we go. All right, so I might as well just pull that off. So this is the two hole one. There. And you. There we go. Left over right under. I say it to myself every time. <laughs> And right over left and under. There we go. And now let's do the last button. Don't worry, these are all going to get trimmed. And that's going to look really, really cute. Alrighty. I did do the three hole pamphlet stitch. If you're looking at that and thinking, Catherine, that looks a little different. I have some odd shaped papers inside there. When I do a flip through, you'll see. And I just felt that three holes might not catch everything and keep it as snug as I like. So that's why I did uh, five holes. And it's a Dickens <laughs> to do. I did not enjoy it and I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done this button before this one because again, without my upholstery needle, this is going to be a pain in the neck. There we go. Ha ha. We have ways of making you cooperate. Okay. And then this side. In. Sorry if my finger is in the way, but I just find I can feel where the needle wants to come up. I can just feel the tip of the needle, and that helps guide me to um, get it through. There we go. Ta da! All right. And this little, this little green guy can go on to his new home. So you can see how this would work. If I had wanted to put lots of lots of little buttons uh, in several rows, you can still do that in this method. Um, oh, I'm putting that in the wrong hole. There. You can still do that, and I have done that with this method. I just, for me, I just find that um, I like a nice, secure button. I don't trust glue. Now, glue is something that you can do. I have in the past when I have sewn the buttons on with the signature threads um, and didn't like how loosey-goosey they were. Yeah, I got out my glue and I gave them a little extra security with the glue and that, that doesn't hurt at all. You can do that. Um, I just find, and hopefully you'll see in a second, I actually like the little gold threads and I think well, I used gold this time. I've used other colors. You can use Baker's twine would look really cute. Imagine, hold on, let me find it. Imagine how cute uh, tied on with Baker's twine, how that would look really, really cute or butcher twine, whatever you happen to call it. I call it Baker's twine. 
it's tied around the box. Okay, left over right, and right over. So now, and I've done this in the past too, if you leave these long enough, you could tie a little bow and have cute little bows along here. I didn't want that. I think it just looks cute when you just leave a little bit of a little bit of the thread. And if you can work with shorter ones, by all means, go ahead. But um, for me, I just think that's cute. You can't see. I'm sorry. And I'm starting to lose my light here. There we go. And then open them up. And there's little threads. I just think they look cute. And then, as you can tell, they're on there. They're not going anywhere. So that is how hold on let me put this away that's how i put my buttons on um, a little golden book spine so everyone's different there's no right or wrong like that and that and there that was it was short and sweet today short and sweet and uh so uh, you know what let me tell you a bit more so what i've done is um i can't open this one right now because like i said i'm training that to stop being such a gator mouth um the first and the last signatures have the pages in uh from the book in order so that if they want to if if they want to read it they can and then the center two signatures are just blank papers uh, so far I'm, I'm going to put some I want to do some fussy cut Dick and Jane pictures uh, maybe some Eloise Wilkin fussy cuts and I certainly we need a few pockets so I'll be I'll be doing that as well but lots of bright primary colors no um, no distress inking in this one just nice bright bold pretty fresh looking colors I think that turned out really well okay I'm going to get going because I have to go make some fajitas and uh, I hope you're all doing well. Take care and stay safe and keep your masks on when you're out in public. Bye, everyone.